Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water which he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he make help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. God, our Lord, our God, in your mercy, be present to your people's prayers. And for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption, graciously bless this water. For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through water you freed people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant 
you were to enter upon with the human race, and last of all through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. alleluia. <coughs> Almighty God, cleanse us of our sins, and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your. Oh, 
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Has become the cornerstone. 
This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pascali laudes, Emolet Christiani, Agnus Redemit Ovis, Christus Innocent Patri, Reconcili Abit, Peccatore, Mors et Vita Duhelo, Conflixere mirando, dux vite mortus, regnat vius. Digno vis Maria, quid vidisti in via, sepulcum Christi viventis, et gloriam pidi resurgendis. Angelicos testes, surtarium et vestes, surrex in Christus pes mea, preceret suos in Galilea, Timus Christum surrexise, amor tuis fere, tun nobis victores miserere. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 
seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me. So I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail, the mark of the nail in his hands, and put my finger into it, the nail marks, put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Since the year 2000, this Sunday has been designated as Divine Mercy Sunday. On this day, we recognize that Jesus appeared to his disciples and opened his hands in blessing, and mercy flowed out of his heart. It's a reminder to all of us who are sinners that God is indeed our refuge and our shelter. We have nothing to fear while we are in his presence. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, the Apostle St. Thomas plays a rather major role. He reminds us of what it means to be before the Lord and depend on his mercy. 
There's a proverb I heard once that the Lord often comes to visit with us, but sometimes we're not at home to welcome him. That certainly was the case with Thomas today. He wasn't there, and since he wasn't there, he wanted proof that Jesus was really risen. So he said standards, the finger where the nails were in his hands, and the fist in his side where the, the lance went into his side. He wanted to know for sure that this was Jesus. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, it might be good to remember that we have been given eight Beatitudes whereby we live our life as Christians believing in this risen Lord. They are blessed the poor in spirit, blessed are they who mourn, blessed are the meek, blessed are they who hunger for righteousness, thanks for those who are merciful, thanks for those who are pure of heart, and blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. And today in our gospel, it's been suggested that we are given yet one more beatitude, the ninth. That is, blessed are those who have not seen, but have believed. That's the last one Jesus gives us. Blessed are those who have not seen, but have believed, all of us. Jesus does not force himself in our lives. Faith and love are given freely. Are there not faith and love? Thomas stands before us today as an example of a disciple who had a hard time with faith and love. Yet he stands in the very middle of an apostle. If you go back and read the Gospels about Thomas, chapter 11 in John's Gospel, he was with the other disciples and he said, let's all go to Jerusalem so we can be crucified with him. It's Thomas today that says, my Lord and my God. I often tell a story about my dad. As a little boy, I used to see him at the consecration, hit his chest and his lips moved. So after mass that Sunday, I asked him, I said, dad, what are you saying? He says, I'm saying what was said when they saw Jesus risen. And I said, well, what was that? He said, my Lord and my God. You and I do the same when we come before this Eucharist and we witness what the Lord has given us and we too come and proclaim him, my Lord, my God. We live in the presence of the risen Christ. When our time comes and we are asked, did you live your lives in faith and in love? May it be said of us what was said of the early church. Behold how those Christians love one another. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten art made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us then and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again <coughs> on the third day in accordance with the scripture. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Lord is and glorified, the last spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one, one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. In confidence, we now place our petitions before the Lord. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Breaker, and Abbot Marcus, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and all God's holy church, that the risen Christ may strengthen them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and for rulers in this and in every land, that they may govern in justice and mercy, be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer all gathered here in this holy place, that the peace and joy of the risen Jesus may fill our hearts. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, Let we ask, ask you hear our prayers. For our confers, family, friends, and benefactors, that the Lord shower them with his abundant blessing. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For those who have died, <coughs> that like Christ, they may be raised from the tomb. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Again and again, be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. God, our Father, on this Divine Mercy Sunday, we ask that you hear these petitions we offer in the name of your Son and grant all according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord, Ah. Uh -huh. 
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and those who have been brought to life through their baptism, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to laud you most graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as without end they acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous res resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernard and St. Benedict, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. We now offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and fill the place of the nails. Hallelujah. And do not be unbelieving. But believe Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful in our hearts. Bring your heart and feel the place of the nails. Hallelujah. And do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice therein. Bring your heart and feel 
the place of the nails. Alleluia. And do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, praise the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. of the nails. Alleluia. And do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect on our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The masses in the go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia.